I mean, you can't really go anywhere without coming in to encounter fire ants. They seem to be prevalent everywhere. It's hard to have kids around them, or even as adults, I mean, you know, you get them on you, they, they you know, they're very aggressive, so they sting um, immediately. Um, we've been dealing with fire ants, as, you know, as far back as the early 80s, where I grew up, and um, I mean, you figure that many decades still dealing with the problem. Uh, it stings. I mean, it's like, a, you know, it's a small sting and then it develops into a small blister and it contends to ache and throb like any sting insect. Um, and it's not so much one that is all that painful, but it's when you get attacked by multiples. And, you know, it's quite easy to be standing in some grass and not realize you have a whole bunch of fire ants crawling up your leg. You panic and you start brushing as quickly as possible, you know, and I hope that as few as, as possible sting you. They've really affected Texas wildlife as well. Like all the ground, ground nesting animals have been affected and reptiles have been affected by fire ants because they just consume whatever they come in contact with. They're, they're quite aggressive in that, in that way in the ecosystem. So um, I, we would love to get rid of them.